Hi and welcome back. In our last several videos we've been setting up a website for a fictitious company called Shears Design and we've been adding some content to the content pages. In this video what I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do is set up a simple form on a page that will allow a visitor to send you a message. And you can see here I've gone ahead and opened up my contact.html page. I'm going to go ahead now and open up the finished version of this page and we can see what the form is going to look like. And you can see this is just a very simple message form. It has uh, four different fields inside of it, name, email, website, and comment, along with the submit button at the bottom. Now there are really three different stages to setting up a form. One is actually creating the HTML and the CSS that actually gives you structure to the form and designs it or lays it out the way you want it to look. The second stage to setting up the form is adding any kind of validation script that you want to the form. An example of this would be validating the form to make sure that the user has entered in certain required values. In this case, name, email, and comment are going to be required values and if the user submits the form without entering any information into those fields you can see we get an error. If I go ahead and enter a value into that field and submit it, you can see the error went away for that one, but it's still up here for, or down here for email and message. So the first stage again is setting up the HTML and the CSS. The second stage is setting up any validation scripts that you want to validate the entries for the form. In this case, we're going to do a required value validation. And then the third step in setting up your form is going to be to add the form processing script to the form. And what this script does is it converts the information that the user has entered into the form into an email and then sends you that email. So step one, set up the HTML and the CSS. Step two, add any validation that you want to the form. And step three, add the main form processing script that converts the information into an email and sends the message to you. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do in this um, on this page. Now, forms are a very detailed and um, um, involved subject. So in this, in this video and the next video, you're going to learn the basics of setting up a form but we're not going to go into the nitty-gritty detail of what everything does uh, in the form. If you want to get more into um, setting up forms, I have a series called H Creating HTML Forms that will tell you all about the HTML and the CSS and also go into more depth about adding the validation scripts um, to your form. So again, this is just going to be sort of an overview since this is an introduction and uh, you can get a more in-depth, detailed uh, view of forms in that HTML form series. So I'm going to go ahead now and minimize this page and I'm back inside of Dreamweaver here. And the page that I've opened up is the contact.html page right here and you can see the content that's in this page. If you have more content than this you can just go ahead and delete that and until you're down to just one single paragraph right here. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click at the end of this paragraph and I'm just going to go ahead and type form goes here. And the only reason why I do that is that when I go into code view I want it to be very obvious where I'm going to insert my form into. I'm going to put it right here. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my framework. And again you can download this from my website. I'm going to go into the framework right here and inside of the framework folder you're going to see another folder called forms and inside of the forms folder I have a whole bunch of simple um, forms set up for you. Um, in the case of this series we're going to look at a couple different forms. One that will send a message to us and the second that will allow a user to get maps from our directions from Google Maps. So I'm going to go ahead here and open up the message form just by double clicking on that. And I'm going to scroll down here and you can see here is my form. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole form just like that. Everything from the opening form tag 
all the way down to the closing form tag. I'm then going to go ahead and right click and copy that and I'm going to come back into my contact page. Now I put that line in here, form goes here, so what I can do is I can highlight that line by clicking over here to the left and then right click and select paste. And what that's going to do is it's going to paste that form into my page. And I'm just going to tab that over and move that down just a little bit to keep my code nice and clean. Now again, we're not going to go into everything that has to do with this form. Um, if you're interested in going into more detail on building HTML forms, check out that series. But the next thing that we need to do after we set up the HTML is go get the CSS for this form. And I'm going to go ahead and close my messages page here. And I'm going to come back into my files. And again, I'm in my framework here. And in my framework, you can see there's a folder called CSS. And there's an option here called Form CSS. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that to open that up. And I'm going to select this block of code right here. Everything from form OL all the way down to clear. I'm going to go ahead and right click and copy on that. And I'm going to come back into my contact page. And in my contact page, actually first, before we do that, I'm going to go into design view here. And I'm going to go into live view. And you can see the way the form looks now. Not too terribly appealing. So I'm going to come back in here to code view again, and I'm going to go into my styles.css. I'm going to scroll down, and after I go through my containers, you're going to see there's a section here for forms. And I just have some blank empty styles here, again underneath the forms heading. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight all those empty styles, and just paste over them. Whoops. Edit, p paste. And that's going to paste in the styles that I need for our form. And again, if you're interested about the details of this, check out the HTML form series. I'm going to save that. Now let's go ahead and go back into Design View, and you can see there's our form. It's set up. It's got the formatting that I'm looking for, including the highlighting on the different fields and everything that you need. Now, what you've learned up to this point in Dreamweaver, as well as in using CSS, you're going to be able to go into your style sheet here, and you're going to be able to interpret a lot of what's in here. For example, if you wanted the label, there we go there's my form section. If you wanted the label to look a little bit different, for example, let's say I want the labels to be bold here. Well, there's the label tag right there. So I could click at the end of this here and type font weight and I can make it bold. And I'll save that. And now when I go into design view, you can see my labels are now bold. Or let's say you know, I made this background here orange because that's sort of the general color scheme that I'm going with here. But let's say you don't like that, especially with the blue there. That is kind of ugly right now. If I go ahead and look down here, you can see I've got input focus, text area focus, and there is a background color. And that is going to be the value that it changes to. So I can highlight that value there, everything from the pound sign through the semicolon, type a number sign, and then I can come in here and I can choose. Actually, I went through that a little bit quickly. I'm sorry about that. I can come in here, click my color wheel, and I can choose the color that I want. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and select like this uh, medium blue color here. And I'm going to click up here to make it lighter and then click OK. I'm going to go ahead and put a semicolon on that to end that. And now when I come into Design View, you can see the different color that's applied to the background of the field. And that's way too bright for the background color of my field, but you can see 
what that's doing um, there for us. So you can definitely go in here without um, doing any damage and change some of the values um, in here. Now, again, if you want more detail about how the HTML and CSS is set up for this form, check out the HTML form series. So, come in here to design view and we now have a form that's on our page. In the next video, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start adding the scripts to this page. We're going to add first the validation script that will allow um, you to validate to make sure that the user has entered data into required fields before they're allowed to submit the form. And the second thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add the form processing script to this form. So I'll see you in the next video.